Hi Taurus, welcome to your monthly forecast for the month of May. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Oh, you're feeling a little bit reserved. Mm hmm. And you are. Hmm. You're feeling afraid at this point and you feel so stuck in a situation. Anyway, we'll pull out more clarifications later on. Let's take a look at your finances. Looks like you also want to leave work, but you can't at this point. You're not so happy. There is a promotion or there is like a post or project that you're trying to get. But unfortunately, the management did not give it to you. So you feel like, nah, it's time for me to go. Wow, you are going through a lot of um, transition. You're going through a lot of transition. You don't really have to keep on holding on to a relationship that is already dead and gone, you know? Because if you're only trying to hold on to, si to a situation or relationship out of convenience and security, then you will definitely get a karma for that. It's time for you to free yourselves up if you really feel like there's nothing left. For the two of you to save it. It seems like some Taurians will be choosing the other one for those who's having an affair, and they will be choosing the number two instead of the number one. Now let's take a look at your health. Now, when it comes to your health, it seems like things are, you know, they're, they're really looking good and okay. I don't see any problem at this point. Okay, now, it seems like, huh, okay, it seems like when it comes to your general aspect or general life, there, you know, and it's like everything is raining down on you. You need to use your instinct, okay, and you need to really get out of the situation that you feel like it's no longer helping and it's no longer serving you well. If you will be waiting for the right time then at least for the next two weeks of this month try to be a little bit like you know low profile and then within the next last two weeks of this month of may that's the only time that you should you know take immediate action about your situation especially if you really want to jump from one company to another okay now, you need to follow whatever that's in your heart. And you've been doing something that you feel like can only suffice your needs, your bills, and everything else. But you are not really doing the things that you really love. You're not really doing the things that, you know, that will spark your passion and this is what you really wanted to do. You're only trying to settle for the com comfortability and uh, security. But this is not what you really want to do. Okay, so that is the reason why that there are some things in your life that isn't really working out in your favor. It is because that you need to be more real and true to yourself. Especially for those who's been trying to get inside or trying to get involved in the media or entertainment side. Or if you're a singer, you've been trying to live up your dreams and you've been trying to, you know, like uh, get into the scene. But every time that you 
every time that you want to take a step forward, there's always something that will give you another reason to, you know, to back off or to take a few steps back and something like that. Because you don't really trust in yourself much or you feel like there's not that much, um, you know, there's not that much um, opportunity. But right at this point, you feel like you know to yourself that this is the perfect time okay sometimes it needs to get worse before it gets better okay and there is going to be a very big opportunity that will be coming your way that will entail you into much much more happiness and much more um stability now just be very careful with someone who is a water sign okay whether this is um in the romantic field or um career field or career area um this person will be sabotaging you okay so just be very careful about that now when it comes to your work and finances like what i said that you're there is like an opportunity that you have missed and you feel like i don't want to stay in this company anymore you know there's no growth i've been stuck in this cubicle or seat for how many years and there's no movement there's no growth and there's no you know like i can't go anywhere you know and you feel like you're just you're just working and working and working you're just existing just for the heck of it but there's no meaning there's no fulfillment so you need to be very careful with your decisions especially if you'll be approaching a, an air sign boss for you know like for example additional benefits or for like a like an increment or something like that i don't feel like they're going to be giving it to you because right now the economy is not really doing good especially your company so what you should do right now is to wait for until the month of june or until the time of uh, gemini and that's the only time that you should make a move or make a decision even though you are having a hard time making you know that concrete plan or being um much more secured so y y it's like you got a lot of worries this month when it comes to your you know your personal thing your personal goals and you've been wanting to take an advance okay or to grow in your field or grow in your chosen endeavor but you feel like life you know li life right now is really heavy and it's just going against you but it's not gonna you know you don't really have to wait for that long because um last two weeks of the month there will be much better opportunity much better news and much better changes that will be coming your way okay you need to be a little bit more careful with your decisions if this is what you really wanted to do and there is an air uh, sorry there's a fire sign man that will be helping you out someone that you treat as a family or someone is very close to you or someone who's really a relative and you will be moving to a new company or to a new job and you will have a lot of decisions to make you will make it and there will be a lot more hmm, financial stability you know you just need to fight off your own fears and you fight off your own phobias because last two weeks of the month especially the last week it will be really really abundant for you all right so when it comes to your love life for some Tureans has been having some rocky relationships there will be some major changes that will be coming your way and if you're only trying to hold on to a relationship just because of a security or just because of a um, um, convenience, okay, or comfortability. It's, you know, it's time for you to think long and hard about your priorities. As if you feel like it is really time for you to go, you have to pull out the truth from inside of you. If there's still something left to save, or if there's still something left to ponder. Because if you feel like it is really, you know, the right time or the high time for you to go and seek out your new path, then do so. But what will be the consequence of this? Some Tereans already have a different option. And some Tereans are, 
let's say they gave in to some temptations and this is the reason why you feel like the, the you know the relationship is already dead and gone and off and you're you're incurring a lot of disappointments in your life right now and it's like you are having a lot of second thoughts whether this is really the right decision or not the thing here is you have already let yourself get involved with this situation and with this matter now why do you have to be so conscious whether this is the right thing to do or not okay because you're not really putting much effort into saving your relationship and into you know um making that way to restore the harmony in your relationship you're just letting everything uh, landslide and It seems like there's some competitions, insecurities, and more likely too much ambitions, okay? That the other one is, let's say the other one is much more balanced, much more in control, and much more, let's say, in the position, okay? While you, it's like you're just waiting for things to rain on you. You're waiting for the luck to sit beside you and to be in favor of you. And this is what's really happening. But the thing here is, right after all of this whole thing, uh, the two of you will still get back together, especially if you do have a child. But then, uh, you know, the truth will also be coming out. So... Just be ready for the confrontation, if ever. Because if you feel like right now you don't have any other feelings for the other, or you feel like, you know, um, you don't feel anything for the other one anymore, for the first one or for the original one, it is only because that you have an option. But when the other one is really gone, that's the only time that you'll value their existence. Okay, now when it comes to your sex life, you, it's like you're also trying to offer something new, something different, and trying to rediscover your passion, but the thing here is, this is not really your thing, okay, if you, uh, if you've been having sex, or if you've been having some multiple partners at this point, uh, you know to yourself that you're not really happy either with any one of them the other one you don't have any emotions but the other one you do have emotions but you feel so blank okay and the other one is more forceful and aggressive but the other one is much more you know much more let's say understanding but not so open to new things So, you know what? I feel like the reason why you're enjoying the company of this other person is because of the excitement, because of the attention, and because of, you know, the, um, the things that you're getting, the small things that you do get from this person, which is... If the two of you will be together officially, I don't feel like he's gonna, he, he or she can give you the things that the other person can provide you. And this is the reason why that you will be moving back to the first one. Now, when it comes to your health, it seems like your health is doing good, you know. It seems like your health will be a little bit okay. You just need to, you know, remove your stress and detoxify. You need to meditate. And you also need to wash your food. You know, and you're, and be a little bit more hygienic with your, let's say, for example, your your hands, your body, and everything, because I feel like you will only have like a like an infection or yeah, infection and uh, diarrhea. It's because of the unhygienic food, or uh, you know, your hands are not clean. Or you're just going to eat on a plate that you won't even wipe off or something like that. It's because of the bacteria. 
and watch out for the molds that's been growing inside your your vent or inside your place that's why you've been having some weak immune system or the, sorry that's why you will have some Im weak immune system for the next three weeks first two weeks of this month you will be okay but until the first week of june you need to be more careful and watch out for your diet and for your health and for the air that you're breathing now Okay, now it comes to the Oracle cards, a win-win solution. There's strength and diversity by blending the ideas of other people with your own. You can often come up with a solution that's magnificent. Start by focusing on the aspects that everyone agrees upon, and then open your mind to compromise in working together. Stay balanced and seek out a moderate approach. Organization, your plans are on target and everything will flow more smoothly if you add a little organization and discipline to your methods. The key to success is to allow your creativity to be gently guided by logic. Be open to asking for help from someone very intellectual or seek out a mentor. Messenger of action, something new and exciting related to creativity or your career comes to your attention. You feel an eagerness to learn and you're ready to get going. Although you may feel insecure, do it anyway. This card represents someone in your life or maybe you who is creative, enthusiastic, and fascinated by life and who wants to try everything. Creativity and abundance, dear one, you're being called to action. You're ready to accomplish great things and truly come into the fullness of who you are. It's a time for great creativity, giving birth to beloved projects, or becoming a parent. Follow your passion so that abundance and prosperity manifest for you. Anyway, that's it for you for this month, Taurus. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live on the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.